Here's the stock gauges on my 99 E350 Econoline. Fuel, temperature, speedometer, oil pressure, and voltage. That's it. For a 350, that's a very limited gauge package. This is a review on the Ultra Gauge. So what it does, it plugs into your diagnostic port. So this works for most 96 and newer vehicles. So now I can look at my RPM, actual engine temperature. This is the mile, amount of miles I could drive before I'm empty. This is how many gallons I have left, miles per gallon, and instantaneous predictor while I'm driving of course of course it's zero miles per gallon right now since I'm not moving here's the vehicle it's being used in six point eight V ten So this plugs into your vehicle's diagnostic port. I unplugged it and plugged it back in. There you go. 48 of 81 gauges are available on this, on this van. So what this does is it gets information off your computer. So I got 41 out of the 80 gauges available for this thing. You could have up to seven pages of different gauge combinations. I just use the first page. A few of the other pages have information on it, but I mainly wanted RPM, engine temperature, and my average miles per gallon. And then I added how much gallons I have left, miles to drive before empty, and instantaneous. I like tracking that stuff, it's fun for me. And I like seeing my RPM, keep it as low as possible, make sure my en engine temperature is good, and try to get the best fuel economy I can. So. There's buttons in the back of this. So I think it's this one to see the different pages. There it is. So page two. So you could show up to eight different gauges at once. There's six right there. Six different gauges at once right there. There's four right there. Okay, I don't have anything selected. I got something there for. I think that was the default. So on this page, I'm showing six gauges. So I'll show you guys. So I think page seven had nothing. So we'll go to um, gauge page menu, select gauges. So there you go. Let's go to page seven. So I could uh, show you guys what you could choose. So here's all the different gauges you could choose. This is what's available for this, for this van. stay on next so let you guys take a look at it oh, okay this is page seven okay it has these four gauges one two three four so that's how you choose which gauges you want you assign it to the number there's six right there so there you go it even has time to empty how many hours you could drive before your fuel tanks empty I wish it had the oil pressure I was really hoping that this would let me see the oil pressure since this van has a stock oil pressure gauge only showing low or high I was hoping that the computer would have the information to your actual oil pressure but unfortunately it doesn't so same thing with the temperature, it has a cold and hot, but I'm actually able to read the engine temperature. So the ultra gauge is finding the information to what the actual engine temperature is versus just looking at cold and hot. So depending on your vehicle, it's going to have different gauges. I don't even I don't even know if every if there's a vehicle out there that has all 80 gauges. This has 40 of the 80 available 
So I'm going to top off on fuel right now and I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate the fuel economy. About to top off on fuel, according to the ultra gauge I'm getting 11.7 miles per gallon. I could drive another 282 miles, 24 gallons left. I traveled 121.1 miles on this current tank. Another gauge that this is missing, I saw that the Ford Super Duty pickups have the gauge, the transmission temperature. I was hoping that this would find the transmission temperature. So that's disappointing since this is a heavy duty vehicle. This was a 15 passenger van when I bought it. I took all the seats out except for the back, for the back bench seats and made it a camper van. But this was a 15 passenger van, 4,000 pound payload capacity so you would think that there's a transmission temperature gauge in there somewhere even in the computer but there's not okay so this is pretty dialed in I have it pretty calibrated so I should add about 11 gallons so this should be pretty accurate 10.803 gallons added Here's another look at my van. It was a 15 passenger van when I bought it. Now it's a lifted camper van. I forgot that I didn't reset the trip meter when I topped off here last time. So add 8 miles to that, that's 129.1 miles traveled. I'm about 8 miles away from home. So the actual fuel economy is 11.9 miles per gallon. So this is how you calibrate it. So this was pretty close. I actually did better than what the ultra gauge said. Now I didn't forget to reset it this time. But here's how you calibrate it. So there's buttons back here. So you go to vehicle setup. You go to calibration, calibrate MPG, and then there it is. See, that's how much it thinks I added, like if it was the pace that it thought, but I actually added less. So 10.803, so let's do that. Oh, I don't wait. One, two, four, back. 10.803. So this is good for like people like me who like who really like to track their MPG. And then it, it fixed it. Hmm, it still says, oh yeah, it went up. Okay, it was 11.2. Did it fix it? I think so. I gotta look at the footage, but it should be calibrated now. It was pretty close. So just reset everything. Zero average speed. I just zero everything. It's like habit. So you could even keep track of how many miles, as long as you don't reset oil distance, you could keep track of how many miles you have on an oil change, but I keep track of all that myself so there you go average is zeroed out so then you go to a gauge page menu oh no I already did that you go to a fuel menu and then you go to a fuel fill up and then 35 gallons so everything should be good there it is 35 gallons good to go When I top off, it's always after work, and since the freeway is fairly quiet, I just like to set my cruise control at 55 miles per hour and try to get my fuel economy as high as possible. According to the instantaneous, I'm getting 15 miles per gallon right now. My average is 10.6, but I've only been on the freeway for two miles, so headed to Vaughn's right now running errands before I go home but by the time I get to Vaughn's 
This should be 15 miles per gallon. I know my van. I said I would be at 15 miles per gallon when I get to Vaughn's, 15 miles per gallon. So if I maintain 15 miles per gallon, I'll be able to drive another 517 miles and I'm at 34.6 gallons left. So I use 0.4 gallons to get here and I only traveled 8.8 .8 miles. So there you go, there's the ultra gauge. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments that this video helped you out. When you guys leave me a comment, it helps my channel out a lot. My channel is self-funded. I'm not sponsored, so when you guys leave me feedback and a thumbs up, it helps this channel grow.